What is up, guys? It's the Sister Spanny here today, and I'm coming at you with episode 82 of our Adventure Quest Let's Play, because why not? Also, we have made it pretty far into the Overlord set quest, and the funny thing is, is that actually, the well, not funny, actually, it kind of sucks, is that I've been recording this entire time, off and on, like throughout the entire thing, and then I checked my recording thing, and I noticed that, uh, my microphone wasn't uh, being recognized, so the commentary wasn't there. Kind of sucks, but that's alright. There was only like 3 minutes and 40 seconds of footage because I was just kind of going throughout the entire thing, kind of putting commentary here and there. Uh, but I think I'm, I'm towards the end now, as long as I can survive. Um, assuming that I survive and I beat the luck rolls, things like that. I will be done with this very soon. Assuming that I don't beat those things, I will be a long time. Uh, I've made it through a lot of this. I kind of... When did I beat? I, I don't know. I'd say I'm like five battles, maybe, at least into the level 90 slot. Like, into the level 90 version of the Overlord set quest. Because the weird thing about the set quests is that you have to do all the other parts regardless of whether you want to or not. So it's kind of like, hey, you've got to kill level 45s, then you've got to kill all the level 75s, or what is it? I think that starts out as 40, possibly? Maybe 45s. I think it might start out as 40, and then it goes up to 75, and then it goes up to 90, which I am assuming is the set level. Uh, and if this set is not for level 90, then I will be thoroughly disappointed, but I think it is. It would make sense that it is, and I don't see why it wouldn't be. Also, I have 35 of every potion, so I think it's impossible for me to die. Uh, metaphorically speaking, because quite honestly, I think it, I, I think I could die if I was up against someone who actually either hit more than my potions heal, or people who hit the same as my potions heal, because then I would just be drinking potions rather than attacking, so that would not be fun. Also, I'm pretty sure potions fluctuate about how much they heal, so there, that goes down the drain right there, that entire argument. Also, I don't know why I'm attacking in this armor. I've kind of gotten down a strategy, and I'm going to lose because I'm not doing this strategy anymore. Um, my strategy is, is to use two spells, usually use two spells, uh, usually two ice spells on these things because everybody here is weak to ice. And then I switch over to my... Uh, Lord's Tenor set, and then just tank some damage with that and heal up with my Fairy Godmother. It usually works pretty well, although the Salamanders are pretty powerful, so I might go back into my, my spellcasting armor and just finish them off here, because this, this could turn out pretty badly. If not hand- uh, yeah, I'm going to switch on back to this armor and go ahead and use Ice 9, hopefully finish him off. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Alright, now he's dead. Yeah, he. I overkilled that guy right there. He's he's dead ten times over. So we've healed again, thankfully, and we're back with Inferno Zards. Oh, what what a fun task this is. Um. Anyway, instead of actually cutting things out, I'm just going to leave it in. I'm gonna just gonna stop talking, put some music over it, speed it up pretty fast, and then whenever I get to the boss, I uh, will slow it back down, put some commentary over it, and. We'll be on our way to having one of our level 90 sets, so we'll see you guys shortly.
right, so I think I'd, I'd assume that this is the boss. So our quote-unquote boss, it's more just like a unique enemy because none of these guys who seem like bosses are really boss material. Although this is the pet, so it's kind of interesting that it, it is actually one of the bosses, but it's pretty cool. Um, I'm assuming it's pretty easy. I mean, since, since he is the boss, I can use all my mana against this guy, so... Probably be able to kill him in, I'd say, four turns, but uh, I think it's going to probably be more like five. So four or five turns, and he can only hit that much per turn, so... Yeah, he's pretty much dead at this point, I'd say. He, his fate is sealed, is what his fate is. Yep, he's, he's halfway dead. He's more than halfway dead. He's like... He's, he's on his way. Okay, so I'm just going to use this. Nope, that's not doing very much. That is alright, that is alright. When I was looking really quickly there, but yeah, Ice is definitely the most powerful way to get rid of this stupid little Overlord Phoenix. I think we'll just buy one of everything, because we have so much gold from that one Ballyhoo thing, that quite honestly, I think it's the best way to go. Just get one of every, like, get one Misk, Shield, Weapon, Helmet, or not Helmet, why did I say Helmet? This is, oh, whoops, I actually did my attack button. Well, I don't think it really matters. Although, I'll tell you what, that uh, that flame attack he has, the, the burning ability on that he has, very powerful, because I've been taking a lot of damage from just the burn effect on him. But, he is dead, obviously, because I'm just too good at this game for that bird. And I'm going to go next, visit the shop, and we have gotten my new armor. So, it also has level 105 armor, so we won't actually be back here until level 105. So, we're going to go ahead and sell the Lord's Tenor. I'm guessing that's how you say it. Uh, Lord's Clout, we don't need that anymore, now do we? We don't need the Lord's Narrative either. We don't need the... Is there a spell here? There's a spell here, but it's not what I wanted. Okay. Um, how about a shield? Uh, there's Glooms Insignia. Oh, I already got mine. Okay. Misc items? Is there misc items? Uh, there are house items, so nope. That's not it. Uh, King's Rebirth. I guess I could probably get the pet as well. Might as well get the pet since I'm here. And that's all there is. So, weapons as well. Yep. Uh, pets. Do I even have that pet anymore? My dogs are barking downstairs. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of that. Make sure we buy everything. Starting with weapons. I'm gonna go down the list. Okay, so what is that? Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, but it's melee damage. That's interesting. Alright. So, what is the difference between these two? Not very much, actually, but that's alright. So, we're gonna get the weapon first. Now, we're gonna get the armor and then we're gonna get the shield and then we're gonna get the pet i'm walking my way through this so i don't forget anything because i remember the one time i actually did do this and i forgot to buy one of the things and it was terrible so i'm gonna abandon the quest i always i'm always not gonna be able to continue on I, i'm guessing the next the next monsters are gonna be over level 105 so that would not be fun anyway let's see what we've got here so this is actually a perfect test to test out my everything because uh, the weapon will be good against him. Where's it at? Oh, Princess Command. So there's a Princess Command, Princess Fable, and Princess Roll. So before it was 44%, now it's 38% to fire. So it's a, just a little bit of an increase, but that's the little bit of increase that makes a difference. So that's pretty cool. Also, we can go ahead and see what's going on here. One, two, three, four. Overload has like one of the coolest combos in the entire game. It's also very good for my build because I have quite a bit of luck on it. I'm trying to get my luck to 150 right now. And I can do critical hits, which hit a lot. So, needless to say, I can hit a lot. And since there's four t attempts to actually do that, it's very good armor. Also, I'm going to go, I'm going to put on this armor because this is obviously the armor that I should be wearing against them. Where is this? Alright, there we go. I really love that shield. It's just cool. Uh, what is the ice resistance right now? 41%. That's pretty good, actually. Although, I, I'm thinking about possibly going back to the that one event. I'll, I'll go look at it in a minute here. I'll probably just finish this guy off really quickly. Um, here we go. Also, with that shield, I'm guessing it's the shield, but... Oh, whoops, I'm using ice against him. That's not a good idea. I got so accustomed to using ice against those guys. I'm like, wait, is this armor like really bad at spellcasting or something? And I was like, oh, well, I'm not fighting fire people anymore. I'm fighting ice people. There we go, that's more like the damage. There we go. Um, hmm. Interesting. Frost Titans. He's in level 80, which is also pretty interesting because usually it's it's around your level. 
I, I don't think I've ever really fought a... Well, I probably have, but not very often, I, I think, around this level, I get a level 80 to fight me. It's kind of weird. Also, I want to ask a question to you people who are still watching this video at this point. Do you, do you think that PvP in Adventure Quest would be cool? I know there's like the PvP system in uh, Dragon Fable where you can put in their ID and then supposedly like fight their AI version of themselves. So it's kind of like you're not actually fighting them, but you're fighting an AI version of them. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool, but it also kind of is weird. The only thing that I find weird is that Adventure Quest has no online functions really. I mean it has some online functions like wars and things I think. But in general, it's single player, so I always wondered why you couldn't get like a client-based version of it and play it like offline, like without internet. Like if you had a laptop, I would think that you could just download Adventure Quest and then be able to play it from anywhere. But what I wanted to see is and maybe it's not here anymore. Maybe it's actually it's not the terror set. It's not the anti guardian. Is it maybe that? See, I I don't know because it could potentially be on their travel map. Because what it is, is it's like the dragon, the the ten-headed dragon or something like that. If you guys know what it is, please leave a comment down below. It was like the ten-headed dragon, and you would fight all ten, or all, seven heads? I think seven. You'd have to fight all seven heads of it, and then once you fought seven heads, then you could do the bonus uh, part of it. And you could get the Void, void Vindicator armor. It was like the ice set. I'm not sure though. I'm actually really confused because it used to be here and they might have removed it. I'm going to click on Elemental Orb set. That's not it. So, if you guys know what I'm talking about, please leave a comment down below. Maybe I'll figure out it out at some point. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I got my first level 90 set. And we will continue on in the next episode. See you guys later.